time subscribers I love you love you so so much thank you for coming back to watch my videos and if you're new here welcome 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 come on in please stay a while check out some of my other content if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please click that button down below and subscribe so it is still black history month and I am still coming with all black owned content so for this week's video, as you can tell from the title, it is going to be a beginner friendly twist out. Super, super easy. I'm gonna take you along the entire process. So let's start off with my hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. And the product that I will be using is from Paidana Collection. And this is their green tea and babasu herbal silk twisting buttercream. This is what it looks like. This is gonna be the size of my first section. Today, I will be doing what I like to call kind of freeform twists. It's basically when I do big twists, I'm not gonna leave these in for a long time. I really don't plan on wearing them outside. And if I do, I'll probably put a hat on because it is the winter time. So they don't need to be super small. They don't need to be parted because we're not going for the twist look or the mini twist look. We're just going for the twist, for just long enough to make a twist out pattern in my hair. So I'm starting with this size section. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I always like to apply my products on wet hair. So I'm going to wet down my hair. So we're gonna wet it down really well. Okay, that looks good. Just smooth the water through. Let me roll up my sleeves or push them up, pull them up, whatever. This product is nice and thick, but it's also really creamy, which is what we are looking for. I'm putting a generous amount on my hair and just working it through, smoothing and raking. So this is smoothing and then this would be raking. It kind of has like a perfume, perfumey smell to it. It's not bad though. So like I said, you're going in with a generous amount. It depends on how long and thick your hair is. That feels like that's enough product. Now I'm going in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush to detangle it one last time and really work the product in evenly. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take two even sections as close as I can to get them to be even because I don't want to borrow hair from one side or the other. I'm trying to break that borrowing habit. You wanna start your twist as close to your scalp as possible because you want them tight. You don't wanna be twisting down here because it's not gonna be loose and it's not gonna give us the pattern that we're looking for, the curl pattern that we're looking for. The reason that I'm really trying to break the habit of borrowing is because in my experience, I have neater looking twist out if I don't borrow. And then the takedown process is a lot easier if you didn't borrow. I'm going to have to start this over because as you can see, this is not even. So if that happens to you, don't feel bad because as you can see, it happens to me too. So it's okay. And I know I could have just edited that part out and y'all would have never seen it, but quite frankly, I like to leave stuff like that in. And I also like to leave in sometimes when I'm getting the shed hair off of my hands and having to do stuff like that. Because when I used to watch YouTube videos before I started making my own, I used to think that there was something wrong with my hair because when I watch these videos, their hair and their technique always seems perfect, which very well may be their reality, but I know it's not mine. And if it's not mine, then that means that there's bound to be someone else out there who can relate and say that that's not their reality either. So I'm gonna try to always give y'all the real, which is sometimes my twists come out janky and I have to redo them. So when you get down to the end, you just twirl 
the twist around your finger like so. And this is my first twist, okay? All right, let me show you again. Wet it down. Generous amount of product. Rake and smooth. And detangle. One last time to work the product through. So my hair has been in these twists for um, I think like two days now and so they're definitely completely dry. Now my takedown process is really simple. Um, I'm using Deli's hair oil from Gaia's Hands. You don't have to, obviously you don't have to use this exact oil, but I really love this oil. It's from a black woman owned company, one, so I love that. But then I also love this little um, dropper thing that comes with it it makes it really easy if you are just trying to oil your scalp let's say you have braids or whatever and you just want to go in between the parts or if your hair is out and you just want to put some in between it's really easy to do with an applicator dropper thing like that so i'm just going to take some of the oil put it in my hand rub that together i start off by rubbing it down the whole length of the twist and then I find where there's a seam in the twist and just very carefully untwist it. And then to fluff it out, I just separate the pieces carefully again, very careful. This whole step is as careful as possible because even though I'm not afraid of frizz, I kind of embrace the frizz, I don't want to encourage more frizz. So if you're just rough doing it any type of way you're gonna get more frizz and i'm just gonna keep doing this with all of the twists and of course you apply more oil as needed so at this point i'm just going through and seeing if there are any parts that i just want to separate some more this part is completely subjective you separate your hair as much as you want to. I've done twist outs where I really haven't separated any of it. And I've also done ones where I've separated a whole bunch. So it just depends on how you want your hair to look. I think this is good enough for me. I'm liking it. Let me give y'all 360 really quick. <music> Okay, so I'm back and usually when I film this part of my video, it's the same day as I'm taking my twist out, but I really wanted to show y'all, this is day five hair. And it still looks really, really good. I don't have to wash my hair if I don't want to. So this twist out was really easy and I got great results. I'm really excited to try out some more products from Pydana Collections. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any questions about twist outs or hair care in general that I did not answer, feel free to drop those down below in the comments. This is the moment in the video where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like two more of my videos featuring black owned brands. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.